Denzel Griffin works off the jab from his low crouching position. And he dominates the early action as he tries to go to Roy Jones' body. And Jones kind of sits back on the rope to the ropes to get a look at what Griffin's got. Griffin with a hard right hand to the side of Jones' head. Roy Jones has not thrown a punch so far. Starts with a little left hook. Griffin slightly off balance as Jones attacks him with a left. Griffin's forte. Anytime he gets in an exchange, could be even that he finishes it up with the left jab. <laughs> Landing the jab from that distance. Now he steps in and lands a right hand. Really respect each other. A lot of fainting, a lot of fainting, not too much punching. The one is, oh, good left hook. It wouldn't shock me if somewhere in the house there's a scorecard that has Montel Griffin winning the first two rounds. Well, there's one right here. Big left hook by Griffin. This round, none of them anywhere near Montel Griffin's face. He has never liked to commit to the jab because he is so defensive-minded. He doesn't want problems. No longer has any power. But there's Griffin again. When he gets the guy on the ropes, he's hustling and scoring points. That's exactly what he did to beat Tony. Ball scoring knockout. Good right hand by Jones. Another right hand and a quick left by Roy Jones. Every time, every time Jones stays against the ropes and allows Griffin to throw those body punches, it's scoring points for Griffin. Good left hook by Griffin. Jones nailed him, but Griffin nailed him right back. Out punched him. Right now. This really has Jones' attention now. Got nailed with some pretty solid shots. Good right hand. Not too many, though, have seen all the tricks that Roy Jones has. And he's a special talent. But what he's doing now, I don't know. Jones, the blistering combination using his incomparable hand speed. Best so far for Roy Jones, but here's a look at some of the damage that Montel Griffin has been able to do during the fight. Throughout the early rounds, Jones backing up into the corners, allowing Montel Griffin to go at his body left-hand counter shots upstairs and then Jones having to take more and more chances as the fight progressed to try to get inside Start winking at Griffin good left hook by Jones and there's a shock the world is white trunks with black trim and there's a knockdown quick left hook inside second time in his career Griffin's been down Knockdown. Clean, short, little left hook on the inside. He leaned back from the right hand. Those are anemic numbers when compared to the kinds of numbers he's put up right across the top and then immediately covers up. And Montel Griffin bashes him. It's like shooting a blank cap pistol. Jones nailed him pretty good that time. Jones is one of the greatest lightweights. Big right hand by Jones. Big right hand. And Griffin is hurt. About it. Griffin is hurt. Jones looking to finish. Griffin wobbling a little bit. Jones comes in and lands the right hand lead again. And a couple of left hooks. And Griffin's knee goes down. And Jones lands two punches after Griffin's knee was on the canvas. And now Griffin slumps forward. That was a foul. I don't He's know. He's not getting right up. Call a question about it. Two punches while he was down. Not one, two. And the doctors are in there with Montel Griffin, who took those with his knees on the canvas, knee down. Now there's plenty of One, time. Two. Two. No question about it in my mind. Definite disqualification. He went down voluntarily. That's why Jones was a little bit mystified. Oh, there's no question that Jones, you, you remember the Riddick Bowe, Mathis fight. I mean, if you want to rematch, you get a rematch. If you don't, I can't make a fight. I don't count with spill milk. I fought a good fight. I didn't lose. Nobody ain't beat me yet. This qualification, I can take that. Ain't nobody gonna beat me. Griffin believes that he thrives and will continue to thrive on being underestimated. Jones lands a solid left hook to start the fight. Let me tell you, that first left hook hurt Griffin. And so does the second one. And Mercanti calls for him. Montel's a classic counter punch. Jones is looking for a first round knockout. He's not trying to set anything up with the jab. Playing the fainting game and Griffin is benefiting by it. Oh, what a left hook. What a left hook. Second.
second knockdown of the round. That was a leaping left hook, and Griffin may not survive it. He's got trouble. Nine! And that's that. Jones gets his vindication via a first round knockout. The canvas could have ruled it a knockdown on the basis of the ring ropes holding Griffin up, too. Mistake by Griffith to try and punch. Would he ever be a threat to be heavyweight champion of the world? Great threat. Because he's bad. With shocking ease, Roy Jones gets his revenge, and he fainted there, and Griffin left himself open for the punch. You know, it's strange that Roy Jones would have that kind of power at that weight class. This guy's capable of being a good heavyweight. So you don't think that he's completely off his rocker when he talks about fighting the Holyfields and Moors of the world. No, no, you pack on that kind of weight and keep your quickness and power, he can go up. How high would he have to go? 205, 210? If he can get to be 200 pounds, that's all he needs just to establish himself. Now a four-time world champion, and once again, the WBC.